We continue the series with the next logical progression up. The basic gold panning and metal detection each gave us just one nugget at a time. Okay, I need more than just one nugget. How do I step it up? That will be the high banker. Before we continue, please consider subscribing and giving the video a like or comment. We will start in the store. I will show you the location of the high banker and what is needed to operate. In front of us is the location of the high bankers and on this shelf are all the items needed to operate the wash flans. Please take note that the current alpha version does not require any other items to operate the high banker such as a water pump or any type of connections. Another note is in the current alpha version there are no differences between the colors of the mats. For convenience there are these set boxes that contains three normal and three small mats but you're welcome to pick and choose your colors as long as you take three normal and three small mats. Okay, I bought a high banker and I bought individual mats to show you how you can customize it and also a note on the set boxes that you will see each set box has a graphic and indicates for what wash blend it is packaged for. You will see on this set box, this one is made for the high banker. I laid out the mats as we will use them here. Depending on the alpha version, there could be an outline or a ghost that shows you where each mat goes. I will place them in position so that you can see where they go. So first mat will go at the bottom. You can press and hold F to put them in location and then press E to unroll them. So let's continue with the rest of them. Press and hold F to pick up. Go over the location with your cursor. Make sure that the cursor is in the spot that you want to put it. Not here, not there. It needs to be in the middle of where you want to put it. Press and hold F to put it in a position and then tap E to unroll it. The last one is a bit tricky. You can access it from the front, right there, or from the side. You can press and hold F to put it in position. You'll see it is in there, and you can press E to unroll it. Okay, we're at the beginner claim with our high banker. So how do we operate the high banker? You can press F on the in-feed pipe to activate the water. Or you can press F again to do, switch off the water. You can also use a water basin and a bucket to simulate the situation where water is not available. You can also use this method to empty a water basin if it's filled with water and you do not want water in it anymore. I will show the operation by using the magic water from the pipe and from the, the water basin and the bucket. So how do we do this? First, you equip your shovel by pressing your quick slot. You'll see it's got a broken circle to, act, to show which one is active. You press the left mouse button on the dirt and make sure you are on the, the, the feeder table or the feeder box. If you have highlights on, you'll see the highlight. Do not try to get the shovel on there like this. It won't work. You need your cursor to be in the feeder box. Then you right click on the feeder box and it will place the dirt in. So you'll see the high banker doesn't process yet because the water is not on. So we can switch the water on and it will start processing. And you'll see the mats fill with the with dirt that possibly contains gold. You can leave it on like this and scoop dirt and place it and it will automatically just wash your water, your dirt. You can also feed the feeder with a bucket. So I've loaded some dirt into a bucket. You can pick up the bucket by pressing and holding F until you pick it up and then with the cursor go over the feeder box. You'll see there at the back the feeder box highlights not like this, 
where you can this is on the high banker itself this is on the feeder box then you right click on the feeder box and it will dump the dirt in there and to load a bucket it's just left mouse button to scoop the dirt and right mouse button on the bucket And then you pick it up, does not need to be full. You press right mouse button on the feeder box and it places it in. Okay, let's switch off the magic water. Now to simulate if there is no water, we can use a bucket again. Press and hold F until you pick it up. Release F, place your dirt. And you'll see we've got 100% it's not being processed. You pick up your water bucket, press and hold F until you pick it up. The same applies. You go over it with your cursor, you'll see the feeder box highlights, and you just press the right mouse button. And you'll see it process, the dirt is going down, and the materials are filling up. I will use the water basin to show. This is the same. You'll see the dirt is at 51%. The mats is at 5.3. So we right click on the feeder box and it will process the dirt. And you will see it emptied the water basin and the buckets. So that's how you operate the high banker. And then all that's left to do is to clean out the mats. And you do that by pressing holding F on the mat and then going over the way the water basin, which is empty, should be empty one, and you'll see it highlights not there. You see it's not highlighted. So if I tap F, it won't place it. It needs to be highlighted like this. You just tap F and it places the dirt in there. If it's easier, you can press E to roll them pick them up you can pick them up tap F and then press and hold F again to place them and then you press E to just expand it or unroll it and that's it for the high banker I hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh, happy hunting <laughs>